Hello, we're the McFly family. She's my wife, she's Mrs. McFly, and I'm Mr. McFly. We're here to teach our sons about the realization and literature of their country, America. Okay, let's see. I'm going to teach them about the encounter and quotations, the beginning of everything. I'm going to teach them about romanticism in each of its subdivisions. I am the eldest of the McFly's, uh, and I'm going to show you the contemporary period. I'm the middle son of the McFly family, and I'm going to show you the realism period. And I'm the youngest of the McFly's, and I'm going to show you the uh, modernism period. Okay, let's see. Let's start. Ah! Encounter and foundation that begins in the 1490s and the 1800s. If you see, it's a clash of cultures between the European people and the American people. Okay, let's go to the next subdivision. During the colonial period in America, the first written appeared in James Bill in 1607. Okay, now let's go to the other subdivision. In the subdivision of the revolutionary age, the greatest documents of America were written. Oh, I don't know how to start this. Oh, wait. Thomas Jefferson. Hey. Yes, sir. Um, I don't know how can I start the Declaration of Independence of America. And I have your assistance. What about if you begin with we people? Oh, that's good. Thank you, sir. Hello. Welcome to the last subdivision about encounter and foundation. Over here, the American literature really begins, with the authors and themes really from America and everything. Hello, good afternoon. Oh, uh, good afternoon, sir. Uh, what are you writing about, man? Well, this is my newest work, actually. Uh, I'm, I changed my style completely, and I think you would like it. Oh, really? I will read it. Thanks for all, man. Welcome to the Romanticism period, from 1800s to 1860s. The age of transcendentalism was the age where people, men and women, equally had knowledge about themselves and the world that surrounds them, that goes beyond what they can see, hear, taste, or touch. Oh, sir, is this yours? Uh, I think it's not mine. Are you Ralph Waldo? Yeah, I'm May Paul. I ask you some questions? Oh, sorry. I wasn't a thing right now, but uh, we can we may talk later. Okay, thank you. For the dark romantics, the natural world was dark, decaying, and mysterious. And when it comes to reveal the truth of man, its revelations are evil and hellish. Oh, this is so depressing. Can we change the color? Okay, sure. Thank you. Look who we have here. Edgar Allan Poe. Are you always this sad? Just, just leave me alone, please. I need to grieve. Go. Best work would be 
arguably the Great Gatsby. And I think the same right there. It doesn't look very good. Whoa! What are you doing? Hey, I just miss it. I miss Morgan. Sorry. Uh, this is my good friend Langston Hughes. Uh, he's a very well known uh, author uh, from the Harlem Renaissance. And the Harlem Renaissance started around the early 20th century. And this is characterized basically by the African Americans uh, uh, moving from moving from uh, rural areas to urban areas. It was nice to meet you. This is a contemporary period. More specifically the big immigration of Jews to the U.S. This period is characterized by the Jews because of the war traveling to the U.S. for security. Like my friend, Mr. Bellow. Yeah, you should read my novel, no published in 1944, known as The Dangling Man, based on my experience at the war. This is the next subdivision known as Beat Generation. This period is characterized by the alienation and sexuality shown on the content of the books. Like my friend, William Burroughs. That's right, kid. I am a heroin addict and I'm proud of it. And that's how I wrote my book, Naked Lunch. You should read it. Well, nice to meet you. It was a pleasure. This is an art subdivision known as Hispanic authors. This period is characterized by the immigration of the Puerto Ricans to the U.S., more specifically to New York. Like my friend, Gary Soto. Nice to meet you. Hello. First, I focus myself on poetry. Then, I wrote my most famous book, Baseball in April. Now, Get out of here, chico. Oh, wow. The last subdivision is the American authors of the 21st century. This period is characterized by the variety of topics presented and the recent events that happened but being inspired the authors. Like my friend John Grisha. Tell me more about yourself. I worked as an attorney in Mississippi. Later, I became a best-selling novelist. And by inspiration, I wrote my book, Rock Lawyers.